I'm gonna do a review on Ace Combat 7 Unknown Skies. Now, with this game, now, if you're not familiar with the brand, it has actually been a game that's been around for quite a long time. Like, I was a little one when the first one came out, and the graphics were not as stunning as this one. And the story was still good, but it wasn't as in-depth back then. Uh, the reason I suggest this game is not only because if you are a aviation lover, Uh, but I would say that if you're an aviation lover or if you're looking for something to try out This has not only a good story to it, but uh, they've done a lot of things completely changed uh, in the old games uh, Weather and stuff would not affect you in any way But I would say that in this game uh, Your wings will freeze so it's harder to control your plane you will have electricity that actually can mess up your computers and navigation. So that actually plays into a role. Um, there's strong winds that affect me flying and that's never happened before. So in this game alone, that is amazing. I have actually a challenge to do. Now, you're probably wondering like, how's it set up? Certain games in the campaign mode are basically like you have to destroy so many uh, tanks or airplanes to get enough points or it's more of like do different game modes like you have to destroy certain planes, escort missions, uh, there's at least just like over 50 aircraft uh, so far in the game that I've unlocked. Uh, the oldest aircraft that they had in the game was pretty much like Vietnam era like aircraft, which is like the F-4 Phantom and the, I think the Harrier, you know, Harrier wasn't in there. It, Thunderbolt 2, and then there was MiGs, like the MiG-29, which was infamous for like the old school Cold War like aircraft. Um, but if you're definitely a fan of like that kind of stuff, like I'd highly suggest it stuff from like Top Gun movie you know like the Tomcat um, which if you haven't seen that movie that's a good classic but besides the weather changes that affect you flying uh, there is online play I haven't yet experienced it but if it's like the other ones it's like basically a bunch of players with their unique aircraft and you're basically like any other game just like trying to be top dog and that's pretty much it there's like team deathmatch or free for all or whatever mode they usually have. Um, I would rate this a five star and that is why I'm saying that this is a really good game. And if you're not a fan of airplanes, like at least it has a good story. It's from the people of Bandai and Namco. Uh, Bandai is usually known for producing like anime. So like if you've seen some of their works, then you obviously need to check this out because a lot of the story in this is solid. The graphics are really good. I would say that's probably not good for children is the fact that, you know, there's language. Um, they list it as uh, mild blood, violence, uh, pretty much that's it. Language is like kind of hard, but like everything else is what you expect. There's not really any blood that I saw yet, but if there is any, it's just, it's kind of like a dramatic series. So you kind of get what you get, but that's all I got to share about this. And hopefully you guys get to try it and you can give me your feedback on here. Um, you guys can always keep up to date with me on Twitter and Instagram. I always try to post something on there, uh, especially when I'm about to stream for Fridays, you'll get to know what I'm streaming if you're interested in watching me or joining me even if you have an Xbox. So that's all I really gotta say. It's been fun guys. I hope to see you next time.